The Salvation Army got results for a local cancer survivor. She says she would have been homeless without the organization's help. Yeah, as News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden found out, the Salvation Army offers a whole lot more than some people realize. 55-year-old Diane Casey is grateful to have the strength to clean her own kitchen. After two bouts with cancer, she's grateful to even have a kitchen. That was a main concern, that I was going to be homeless, and I think that devastated me more than the thought of having the cancer. It's like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do now? In 2014, Casey was diagnosed with throat cancer. Doctors recommended a rigorous round of chemo and advised her she shouldn't work. I didn't know how I was going to pay my rent each month, my utilities. I mean, just my basic needs. I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to take care of that, you know, without working. Struggling with a dreadful diagnosis while stressing about keeping a roof over her head, a friend recommended she call the Salvation Army. I thought Salvation Army was just a store that you could go to to buy, you know, used goods, clothing. But she found it was so much more when she contacted case manager specialist Bridget Davis. For me, it's a heart of compassion because I always put myself in the other person's shoes thinking that that could easily be me. The Salvation Army offered financial assistance, and Davis connected Casey with other resources, including walking her through the process of applying for food stamps and connecting her with an attorney who helped her apply for Social Security disability. Davis says she's part case manager, part motivator. Many times you do see people at a low point, so a lot of times you're spending time just to try to encourage them and assure them that they're going to be okay, that they're going to get through this. Casey says the Salvation Army kept her afloat through one of the most difficult times of her life. I mean, if it wasn't for the Salvation Army helping me out, I really don't know where I would have been, put it that way. Because of the assistance she received, Casey was able to keep her apartment and finish her chemo, and I am happy to report she is cancer-free. If you need assistance, you can go to clickorlando.com, and we will have a link to the Salvation Army's website. You can find the story now right there on the homepage. I'm Lewis Bolden, News 6.